Hello everyone, I'm Red Effect, and today we are going to do some myth busting on M1 Abrams. Enough talk, let's begin. Myth number one Saudi and other export variants of M1 Abrams are getting destroyed, so Abrams must be a bad tank. If you're watching this video, you have probably heard of this one before. But the truth is, the expert variants are neither good nor used properly. Let me explain. The best expert variant you would probably see out there is Saudi M1A2S, which is M1A2 brought to standards to US variant of M1A2 SEP, or System Enhanced Package. But the problem with the M1A2S is that it lacks depleted uranium plating in its armor composition, so the armor is more comparable to M1A1, not the M1A2 SEP. Another problem with those expert variants getting destroyed is that they are for some reason always alone. That is not how US would be using them. Abrams would always have either other tanks or vehicles by its side, or at least infantry support. Therefore, the things happening to those M1s would never happen to actual M1A2 Abrams. So this myth is based on wishful thinking of some people. Sorry chaps, maybe next time. Myth number 2. Gas turbine engines on Abrams get dirty quickly and require a lot of cleaning. Now I have to admit, I have fallen victim to this myth in the past, because the premise of this myth is based on 1991 Gulf War where the engines indeed required a lot of cleaning and maintenance. But the issue was later resolved with the introduction of pulse jet filters, which drastically fixed the issue. Of course, engines still require maintenance and cleaning, but far less than they used to. Myth number 3. Abrams uses the exact same gun like German Leopard 2, just with different name. This myth got a lot of people confused, to the point where people would write articles about Abrams and literally just say Abrams uses a Rheinmetall 120mm gun. That is simply not entirely true. You see, M256 or M256A1, the gun used on M1 Abrams, does incorporate the license build copy of Rheinmetall L44, but it features a lot of changes. The M256 uses more compact concentric recoil system, Cradle, Breach, Telmer Shroud, MRS and Bore Evacuator have been modified. In fact, they are so different that you can't put M256 in Leopard or Rheinmetall L44 in Abrams. But ammunition for both guns is designed to be able to be fired by the other one. Myth number 4. Abrams uses only armor for protection. Well, this is partly true due to the fact that up until M1A2 SAP, this was indeed the case. It no longer is. You see, on top of excellent armor protection, newest Abrams variants use counter-remote electronic warfare or crew system, which disables remotely operated explosives near or on the tank, so it's impossible to destroy the Abrams without one of those. So think again before tossing a C4 on an Abrams. Since the crew gets warned if the attempt to detonate an explosive remotely has occurred, the commander would immediately start scanning for targets and you would probably end up, well, dead. Myth number 5. The depleted uranium in Abrams causes sickness. Believe it or not, this is a very common myth. All the people who hate on Abrams always have to bring that stupid myth up. But there was no single case of any crew members of Abrams tanks ever getting radiation poisoning. In fact, the only way you could get the poisoned is if depleted uranium entered your body. What is funny though is that most of people don't realize that Russian tanks use depleted uranium ammunition, like Abrams does. But you don't see people talking the same stuff about them. And last but not least, myth number 6. Abrams is an old design, therefore it's obsolete for modern warfare. Oh, where do I start with this one? You have probably seen some comment or a video saying how Abrams is an old tank, therefore it's obsolete. Yes, if you took original M1 and put it up against T-72B3, the T-72 would most probably win. 
but take the latest M1A2 SEP V2 and the result would be completely different. What most people don't realize is that most of the modern tanks are indeed old designs with a ton of upgrades. The Leopard 2A6 is based on Leopard 2 from 1979. T90 SM is based on T72 platform from 1973. BM Uplot is based on T80 platform from 1976. Even the T14 Armata is a lot based on Object 195, which is a project from the 80s. That is it, I hope you enjoyed. Check the description for some sources. If you think I made a mistake somewhere, feel free to correct me in the comment section down below. And I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.